Hi there Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your July 2017 general reading. Whatever is meant to come out will come out, so here it is. This is for Taurus for the month of July. Thank you to all the subscribers. Uh, watchers, commenters, and uh, bookings. I appreciate it. You guys have been keeping me very busy. If this doesn't resonate with you, check your moon sign or your rising sign. This is for Taurus, July 2017. Dear angels, gods, spirits, in universe, what do you have for Taurus for the month of July? What do they need to know? Is this going to be a love reading, a general reading, a work reading, an everything reading? Well, what is the focus for the month of July? Mm. We had a jumper. That's a great jumper right there. He comes in quick. Comes in with uh, no thought of whoever is in the way. He's coming for what is his, and you better just watch out. He's dragging some uh, some passion along behind him. He's full of it. He or she. Now this is for the month of July. looks like perhaps you have uh, left something behind. It could be a fire sign, um, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries person. Um, perhaps they, you know, they left in a hurry. Um, and it looks like you're, you're really coming into your own at this beginning of the month. You're coming into your own. You're feeling really good. Um, you have a lot of willpower. Congratulations. Um, I think that you have a very magnetic feel. Okay, I think that you are pulling people towards you. I think people are drawn to you the beginning of this week. Um, your beauty shows. You are becoming, or you ha are showing that you are one body, one mind body and spirit okay you are projecting that people can see it you're strong you're resilient you're graceful you're beautiful um you're easygoing you're feeling really good about yourself the first week of july um perhaps this person has just shown up um this is a uh air sign libra gemini aquarius person perhaps they have just shown up and um they're coming after you at the very beginning of the month. That could be the case. This is a Leo. This is a Cancer. This is a fire sign. Um, and here we have you leaving something that you're emotionally attached to behind. Okay, you're fo you've followed your intuition. You've followed your gut. You've been listening. And you've decided to finally leave it behind. By the end of the first week of July. It's like, you know what? I'm done. I can't, I just really can't do this anymore. I just, you know, even though, you know, I'm emotionally attached, it's time for me to go on my path. Looks like you're moving forward. Um, and you're really in tune with yourself, mind, body, and spirit.
you are you are you are just putting out exuberant magnetic vibrations I mean you are you're absolutely drawing people into you the first week of July they're like you're like the the sticky glue that the the flies stick to they're like Phew! I mean you're sucking it in and you're not doing it on purpose it's it's you love yourself that's what's going on and when you love yourself other people are drawn to that There's definitely an air sign in the picture. Okay, there's something going on behind the scenes that you were not aware of. There's also an Aries sign in the picture. Not sure if I, you've walked away or they've walked away from you. Aries um, could be a Leo or a Sagittarius, but Aries is pretty prominent here. And perhaps they have walked away. And here you are, Taurus. Or, you know, there's been a separation between you and this person. Okay? Perhaps that perhaps that's part of taking back your power. Okay, this is a Pisces. This is a Cancer. This is a Leo. This is a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is um, betrayal. Perhaps this person has betrayed you in the past or disgusted you. <clears throat> And perhaps they're coming back. Something is going on behind the scenes that you are not aware of. Be cautious. Okay? Something is going on behind the scenes. And it's probably related to this. Moving on. Something is moving on. Okay. Quite hastily. Okay. They're acting before thinking. Or it's it's pretty um, quick. Somebody is moving on. They're doing it pretty quick. Alright. And you know about this. Because you've been fought listening to your intuition. You know what this is. It's been coming for a while. This has been coming for a while. It's been in the works, behind the scenes, for a while. Okay? Forward movement is coming. It is. I think that um, your mind is clear. Your thoughts are clear. You're not confused. <laughs> it, it shows. You are one mind, body, and spirit. You are. There's no confusion in your head. You know exactly what's going on. Somebody has... Um, you don't trust. Okay? You don't trust. Somebody has betrayed you in the past. And perhaps, you know, at, you know they're, they're... They've come into the picture. Or they're in the picture. And even though they're, they're, they're towing that passion behind them, you're like, hmm... Huh. I don't know about this. I just soon not have anything to do with it right now. I see that there's a lot of uh, spiritual... Um, guidance here I think that you have embarked on a spiritual journey of your own and that in you are um, what's the word awakening waking up pretty quick all right there's no confusion you are awake and you are waking up very quickly all right you are aware very aware this Aries person could be going away Father, mother, boss, superior, husband, wife, somebody who takes a leadership position, you know, somebody who's very organized and somebody who is um, very much 
looking to please society, okay? They have a very big ego. Society is, you know, they're worried about what society thinks. They're going away. Perhaps unexpectedly. Expect the unexpected, okay? I just want to tell you that something unexpected is coming. And, um... With this person, expect the unexpected with this person, this air sign, all right? Because you just don't know what's going to happen. Um, you know what this is. You know who it is. Um, it's somebody who you... This person, not this person. This person is somebody who you trust. And it's probably yourself. It's your inner knowing. It's you trusting your intuition. That's what this card is right here. Because here you're disgusted with, with somebody. These people are disgusted with him. He's he's smirking like he won. But these people, they just don't want to have anything to do with him anymore. He didn't really win. He lost. But, um... And perhaps this is why this guy is going to float back in. Because he doesn't lose very well. He's not a good loser. All right. Again. <laughs> body, mind, and spirit. Body, mind, and spirit. You are so one with yourself that you don't really even need this because you know. You don't really even need the reading because you know what's going on. You feel it. You know it. You believe it. You have been working on yourself for a very long time now. You've been working on yourself, you've been growing spiritually, you've been healing, you know, you're not confused, you have clear thinking, um, you're victorious, you're moving forward, you have a lot of willpower, you're not worried about what's going on behind the scenes because you can handle anything. You're one, mind, body, and spirit. You're feeling really good. Sure, something's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, I already knew that. I've been expecting this for a while. That's how you're thinking, all right? Oh, we have a new uh, new endeavor on the horizon. That's what's conspiring behind the scenes. Something is on the horizon, probably related to this Aries leaving, or this mother, father, or authority figure leaving. Something is going on behind the scenes, okay? Um, maybe it's a new discovery or um, a new inspiration. It's a new beginning, either way, okay? Probably for this person that's in your life. Okay, something, but you are affected by it because it's in your reading. And it's going to provide justice for you. When this person leaves, it's going to provide justice for you. It's going to provide fairness. It's going to confirm a decision. Okay, it's going to be the right thing. It is. It's going to be the right thing. So when it happens, just let it go because that's what's meant to be. It's going to balance out your life. All right? Because here you are. This is a man or a woman. You already know what this is. Your intuition and your psychic abilities are at the top of the list. Okay? You are right up there. You know what this is. Justice for Taurus is coming. The truth is coming out. Um, the time of balancing out your life is, is right around the corner, okay? You're very balanced anyway. You are mind, body, and spirit. But the one thing left, the one thing left that you need is your justice. And your justice is, is the fairness in decision-making that benefits you. That's your justice, okay? So whoever this is, if they're leaving, it's going to benefit you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to balance out your life, believe it or not. It is. It's going to balance out your life. And I think you already know that. I do. Your intuition is just like, wow. Um, <laughs> perhaps there's a reconciliation around the corner. 
there's a reconciliation with somebody you know. I consider this somebody you know. It could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or um, Libra person. Could be a reconciliation on the horizon right around the corner. And it's been in the works. We're going to use some of these. What do you have for Taurus? What else? What else can we tell them for the month of July? This is for the month of July. Whoa. Things are crazy. Yep. We're going to lay these down. Just as they came out. This is beautiful. Couldn't get any better. I hope you can see them. The first one is the wheel. This it's time for the wheel to spin. You have done so well that one cycle has ended and another one is beginning. A time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Perhaps you've been waiting for this reconciliation. I think you have. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. Look at where it is. Right next to this. A major life cycle has ended and a new one is beginning. That's what this card says. Expect the unexpected. Just saying. It's the truth. Expect the unexpected. I hear it. I believe it. And here, a false scent of an entrapment. Being overly focused on material things. Negative or fear-based thoughts. That's this person. Yep. Absolutely. That is that person being overly focused on material things. Did I not tell you that they were society driven? Okay. That person is going out of your life. Or. That's what's going on behind the scenes. Somebody is feeling trapped behind the scenes and you're not aware of it. A false scent of entrapment. That's this person. <laughs> it is. It's this person. <clears throat> this Aries, mother, father, authority figure. Um, they're focused on material things. They're focused on society. I think they're, they're going away from you. Um, and it's going to cause you to get your get your balance back in your life. I think it is. Um, and this is probably... Let's get a... This is... They're probably going to go away um, towards the beginning. Beginning to the middle of the month. Beginning to middle of the month. Because I feel like the end of the month is down here. Okay, and I just and this card is up a little bit. Okay, um, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. This is this is perfect because when this person leaves and walks away, or you leave them behind, and that doesn't mean that that could mean that you decide that you're not gonna be part of their lives anymore because they cause you too much hurt, or they cause you too much. They don't support you. You know, they bring you down, they're psychic vampires, whatever it could be. This person is moving out of your life, okay? And it is going to bring balance back to your life, okay? It's going to bring fairness. It's a decision, decision that must happen, okay? It is going to happen. It's out of your control, okay? It's a major life change when this person leaves, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. Absolutely. Okay. 
a major life experience along with this wheel a new cycle is beginning for you Taurus and it is going to it's been in the works for a while I know it has but it's gonna the wheel is gonna spin a little bit more in July okay I think it's gonna spin a lot more actually because this is way over here towards the beginning a time of positive change a situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side it is a time of positive change So we have a significant life event, probably involving this Aries person who is going away. Either you're leaving them or they're leaving you, which is going to cause you the ability to balance out your life. And it's your justice, okay? Believe it or not, it may seem like a bad time. This is towards the beginning to middle of July. It may seem like a bad time. But it's not because your life is going to balance out. And I think you know what this is. Listen to your own intuition, Taurus. It's been speaking to you. And you know it. You know it. You are one with yourself. Congratulations. I think there's a reconciliation in the works. And it's somebody that you know. I think it's been in the works. And it's still in the works. I don't see anything about work here. This looks like it's about love and family. This could be a family member going away. I think that's been in the works as well. Father, mother, Aries. And they're leaving you behind. And, and it's... Uh, it's really going to balance out your life or you're leaving them behind. It doesn't have to mean that they're passing away. It means that, you know, sometimes, you know, when a mother and a father or family members, they, they have to set boundaries, you know. They have to say, okay, I'm going to move on. You're, you're, you're halting my um, growth. You know, you don't have any faith in me. You're bringing me down. You're still trying to control me. You know, I'm my own person now. And you really are your own person now. And you feel like you're your own person now. And whether this is a husband or a wife or a mother or a father or a boss, you're your own person now. It's just the way it is. And they're, they're, they're headed out of your life. Okay. It's a significant life event for you when they leave. It is. It's part of your path. A powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. When this happens, this is when your justice comes. Okay, that's your, your powerful revelation that leads to change. That's justice for you, Taurus. When you get that revelation, boom. Your life is going to change drastically. Not that it hasn't changed a lot already, because it has. You love yourself more now than you ever have before. A complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. This is about fantasy and illusion. All right? And using an imagination and, and um, not moving forward because you're still in fantasy land. All right? I think that's where you've been stuck because now is a time of pro positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. It's been an illusion. But now is the time for it to move forward. Okay? You are moving forward. There's no doubt about it. A situation suddenly moves forward. Pretty fast, as I might say. It's going to move forward. Oh! After... This, of course, this is the truth. You only move forward after this. I should have told you that. This is the Three of Swords. Great sadness. Take time to heal. 
the need to forgive yourself and others. The main words on this card are the need to forgive yourself. Okay? Those are the main words on this card, the need to forgive yourself. Once you forgive yourself and you let go of past regret, you really, really, really let it go, past regret and past rejection, you move forward because you've dropped. It's no more, hold, it's not holding you back anymore. It's no longer an illusion. It's no longer controlling you. Okay, it's no longer in your head. It's no longer an emotion, a negative emotion. It's gone. When you let it go, it's gone. And when it's gone, there's no longer a false sense of entrapment. Okay? There's no longer negative or fear-based thoughts because you let it go. Time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. This is about really taking a rest. Really, really, really taking a rest. When this happens, when this, because see where it is, it's on top of this. When this person goes out of your life, whether it be physically or mentally or whatever, when the communication stops, completely done when it's completely stops and it's really over, okay? You're gonna need time to rest and contemplate and heal and work on yourself and come to that powerful revelation. But first you need to heal yourself. Okay, when this person goes away, and I think it's somebody that you're related to, I think it's a family member, I do. When this person goes away, you are going to need time to heal. That's all there is to it. You're going to need time to go within. You're going to need time to um, think, meditate. And then when you do that, you're going to have a revelation that leads to change. Because when something big like this happens, it always leads to change, positive change usually. It's time to spread your wings. Taurus. Time to spread your wings, Taurus. A powerful revelation, Taurus. A significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings, Taurus. That's your justice. That's your justice. Follow your intuition. Because your intuition is talking to you. Your intuition is telling you. Your intuition is right on. It's time for you to keep moving forward and to move forward pretty. I think you're going to move forward pretty quickly. Okay, you are moving forward and it is going to be a victory. Okay. Now this is for the month of July 2017. There's been a lot of joy and there's been a lot of sorrow in your life. There's been some ups and downs, okay? I see that you are totally in control. You're totally in control of who you are. You really are. Congratulations. You're in control of your mind, body, and spirit. That doesn't mean that every once in a while you don't have fantasies or illusions. I mean, you are human after all. I want to know about this person coming in. I want to know about this uh, person. Looks like an air sign to me. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Libra. <laughs> already said that. Could be a fire sign. Sagittarius, uh, Leo, or Aries. I do believe that that person is leaving your life, though. That's what I think. I think that person is um, headed out for one reason or another. They're leaving. Perhaps without any notice. 
I think that you've probably, you probably know this air sign and they may have hurt you in the past really bad. But you always, you know, the passion was so deep, a lot of passion. Mm. That's not a pretty picture, is it? Actually, those aren't pretty words. That's illusion. That's why the card goes here. You have had some illusion, but you've come into your own with these two cards right here, and now you're thinking, and the, this one, your thinking is clear, okay? Although you have been deceiving yourself, okay? You've been deceiving yourself. You're no longer fantasizing about something that isn't real. You're no longer believing um, fantasies, okay? You're no longer. That was you self-deceiving yourself. It really was. You were wearing the mask in the relationship. You were deceiving yourself by not loving yourself. By not honoring yourself. By not being one mind, body, and spirit. That's your own deception. But now the thinking is clear. You're having clear thinking. You are, have become one. You have a lot of willpower. Mind, body, and spirit. You are completely in control now. No more of this. This is in the past. Now you're completely in control of who you are. More than ever. Ooh, I already told you about this. I did. This person coming in who or who is already here is, is towing along some passion. As I said at the very beginning of the reading, it's strong. He's got passion. He or she has passion, and they are bringing that with them, and they're going to give some of it to you. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Now, how's that go? Something like that. <laughs> this is perfect. All right. So, this one's perfect. It's going to go right here. This card that I just pulled is going to go right here. Over this person who I think is a family member. And they could be going out of your life, whether it's passing away or no more communication. I do not know. I believe it's a family member that you are having uh, bickerments with or don't disagree or you disagree with or they could be, you know, going to another life experience. I mean, they could be, you know, they could be going, they could be passing away. I'm just saying um, something's going on behind the scenes that you are not aware of. Just keep that in mind. Um, somebody is going away. When that happens, you know, and you need time to heal, you need time to heal or take a vacation, you know, and you need to come to your own powerful revelation because when something like this, this is very powerful, okay, this is a very powerful person in your life, okay, they've had a lot of impact on your life. When this kind of person, when this type person is no longer in your life, whether you're not talking to him or whatever the case may be. It's the time when you need this the most. Okay? This is when you need this the most, Taurus. So don't be afraid to let them. Because I know how strong you are. And you have complete control over who you are. You do. I know that. Your willpower is through the roof. Okay? But that you are still human. I think I've said that before. You are human. July 2017 for Taurus. Two more cards. What do they need to know? I'm going to pick two more cards for Taurus the month of July. Alright, 
So, this passionate one right here, this old passionate one, perhaps this guy underneath, guy or gal, who's an air sign or somebody who acts like an air sign, he's a cut through the bullshit kind of person, he or she, they are, they are clear thinkers, um, sometimes they speak without tact, they have um, a lot of confidence, they are humorous, uh, very, very sexy, um, and you're going to be magnetically drawn to them. You are magnet probably you're already connected to them, and you, it's going on behind the scenes and you don't even know it. You never know. Maybe you could end up getting married somewhere along the line. I don't believe that it, it's going to be in July, but this person could come about in July. They could propose to you in July. They could walk into your life in July. Either way, they complete you. And if it's not an air sign, it's somebody who acts like this. In this one, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Perhaps <laughs> you have been focusing on your spiritual path. And that's why this has been at a standstill. Perhaps your spiritual path has taken precedence, precedence, okay? Perhaps your own path, whether it's uh, spiritual or not, has, you know, really been the focus. You've focused on you more than finding this person, okay? I think that's what it is. You've been focusing more on your path and your path is your religious path whatever your path is that's really that's that's your religious path okay your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path that's what's going on you've been focusing on your path whether it be work or family or whatever your path is your spiritual path it's the same thing okay um and right now i think that's what you've been focused on But I think that's going to change. I do, I do, I do. I think a powerful revelation is upon you. It is, and it's going to stem from this separation from this mother, father, um, boss, whatever it is, Aries person doesn't have to be Aries. It can be anybody who's in a leadership position or a mother or a father that has um, held you back, per se. Or um, even if they haven't held you back, if it's a, somebody is going to pass away, then that's going to that, that's gonna cause you... It's going to be a major life experience for you, put it that way. You're about to embark on a major life experience in July. I'd say this is towards the second, third, you know, mid, mid July. <sighs> Damn it. You still have an illusions here. And that's why you need this person has to go. They hold you back. Yep, because it's right over that. Okay, this is about imaginations and fantasy and not knowing what to choose. And um, this is about uh, your wishes being fulfilled. That's, that's perfect that it landed right here because this is your true wishes. Okay. <laughs> but this, this is perfect because this is not choosing. I mean, do you choose love or do you choose the stuff that's in the cup? That's your spiritual path. The stuff is in the cup. Whatever you're focusing in the love is all the cups. What do you choose? Do you choose your path or do you choose love? What do you choose, Taurus? Do you choose your career or your family or what everybody else wants you to do? Or do you choose the love that's in these cups and go for that and to heck with all the other shit? That's your path.
Okay, so your love life is being influenced by your choice, your choices. Do you want love or do you want to work towards all this stuff instead? Because he can, he can dump that stuff up and take those cups and have the love. But he can't take all the cups with the stuff in it because some of the stuff will fall out. You know, he could take three cups with stuff in it and probably get away with that. But then he wouldn't have all the other love and all the other stuff. It's about, you know, a choice. Do you want the love or do you want whatever else you're doing? That's your choice. It's probably your own deception right here. That's what it is. I mean, do you want the love or not? That is the question. If you want the love, you need to focus on the love. And that's what I have for you, Taurus. You know, I'm a no-bullshit kind of gal. Um, yeah, that's what I have. That's what I see. I hope you like it. If you don't, just carry on. If you do, then great. But, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. I look forward to hearing from you. If you would like a private reading, you can email me. You can find the information below. I don't. Facebook's a problem because I... I need to have my messages all in my emails that are going back and forth here and there and everywhere. Best thing to do is send me an email so that when I need, when it's time for me to do your reading, I can go right to my email and reread your question and your date of birth and all that. There's no run around searching for it. So if you could send me an email, that would be great. Um, I appreciate everything that all you guys are doing for me. Um, and I look forward to uh, reading for you again.